Right everyone, so welcome back to the second channel. Now today, um, as you can see on screen, we, we, we got something from Keemstar here. Now this is basically a part two of this situation, so if you want to see part one, uh, it's, it's, it's basically on my main channel, which if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to that channel. Uh, it's basically where I upload most of my content, but today uh, we, we, we have the part two of this. So basically, to give a bit of backstory, John Swan and Dream are in a bit of heat right now. Uh, basically, John Swan uh, apparently s s sent some messages while he was being a, a fake Dream account to some guy who was basically a Dream fan and uh, it was a whole situation. It was blown. It was. It, it's absolutely insane right now. I think John Swan is trending right now. Uh, if I can't find it, okay, apparently he's not now. But it, it was basically trending uh, w worldwide. And most people are pretty split on this issue. Like, I don't think that there's really one sort of person that I don't. I don't really think that there's one side where people are just all all flocking to that side. And now we got this guy, Keemstar. He's got about three million followers and is the number one source for news. Okay, so so there's that. Now most of the time, if you're looking at a news source, I, I don't think that it's a very great idea. For, for, for a news person to be giving their opinions most of the time because then that can sway the argument and if you're wrong then uh, it, it can look very bad on your reputation. So we're going to be looking at this video where uh, where Keemstar basically says the Dream is innocent and uh, John Swan is not the victim. So we're going to be looking at this now. The Minecraft YouTuber Dream is getting criticism and hate right now and it's unjustly and it's unfair because Dream is the actual victim in this situation. Let me explain. John Swan and Dream, a year ago, they get into a call, they do a collaboration on a documentary about Minecraft, right? That's how they meet each other on Discord. Then shortly after that, for some reason, John Swan starts messaging Dream's fans saying sexual stuff and racist stuff. Okay, firstly, firstly, I gotta stop you right there. Being a news person as yourself, I think it's really, really hypocritical how you just jump to conclusions like that. No one has any proof of John Swan actually doing this, so for you to just go on and say John Swan was doing this when it, it, it really could not have happened. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, um, make sure you go to my, make sure you go to my main channel where I basically posted the first sort of video on this, where I, where I basically explain what's going on. But basically, Keemstar here is just, is basically confirming that John Swan did this when there is no actual proof of him doing it. John Swan basically said that that, that some 12-year-old who is a family friend, I don't know exactly who it is, but that, but John Swan basically said that, uh, that that he hacked his account and got into his messages and started doing this. For, so for you to confirm with no, with no actual confirmation that this actually happened is quite insane. So anyway, let's just keep going with this. And uh, a fake Dream account starts doing the same thing and they're working together. Now, Dream Dream sees this, confronts John Swan about this, and John Swan says, Look, man, my friend was on my account. I showed other people my account. I was still logged into Discord. They got in the account. They're the ones that made the fake Dream account, and they were the ones that were on my account saying this stuff. I'm sorry. That was the end of it, right? But now, let's fast forward a year uh, forward. John Swan is making multiple videos criticizing Dream. Whether okay, okay, hold up a second. I gotta stop you right there. Can you please tell me where, when on earth, John Swan made videos about Dream? I can go into Dream. I can go into John Swan's channel right now. I go to this channel. There is okay. We'll type in Dream. There's absolutely nothing there. This is the video where John Swan collab with Dream. There is nothing there. These videos are, have got nothing to do with Dream, so that that just doesn't matter. Now, let's go to his second channel, John Swangling. Okay, here we go. Dream. And there we go. Absolutely nothing there. None none of this has got anything to do with Dream. So that is just a complete lie off the bat. So again, for someone who is the number one source of news uh, on YouTube, you, you seem to be not getting your facts very right at all. So yeah, anyway, let's keep going. Whether it's legitimate or not, I haven't seen the content. So Dream gets a little defensive, makes a Reddit post saying, this guy's not acting in good faith. This is what happened a year ago. Okay, I'm sorry, but we, we got to talk about this again. Dream was getting all defensive, you say. What was Dream getting all defensive over? Because Dream couldn't get defensive off videos that John Swan was making because John Swan didn't make any videos. So this guy's literally just pulling this out of thin air. And again, if Dream is actually right here and Dream was actually like, it was telling the truth here, then of course he can tell people about it. But I'm just saying right now that, that you can't say that Dream was in defense because he, he, had, he had nothing to defend himself with. He was saying sexual stuff to my fans and then he claimed he was hacked, right? So John Swan sees this Reddit post, by the way, only has 20 likes makes a post on Twitter and- Okay, I'm sorry, but it, uh, again, I, I have to point this out. Who cares if it has 20 likes or if it has two likes? If Dream, a massive YouTuber with 18 million subscribers, 18 million, by the way, do you know how many that is? If one person who saw that post it brings it to Twitter without John Swan doing it first, people are just gonna instantly jump to conclusions and call out John Swan because John Swan hadn't made a response yet. If I was John Swan in that situation, I would have done the exact same thing. I would have brought it to Twitter and called people out for it. Says, look what Dream is trying to 
to do to me? He's trying to ruin my credibility. And now I see the commentary community defending John Swan like John Swan is the victim in the situation. No! Dream is the victim in this situation. Dream's fans were the victim in this situation. And Dream doesn't have an obligation to believe John Tron's story or John Swan's story or whatever you say. Okay, all right, all right. I got to talk about this. Keemstar, yes. Dream does not have to believe John Swan's story. No one, no one is saying that Dream has to believe it. But the way Dream was putting this out, like it was hard cold evidence and and just facts that Dream was doing that that John Swan was doing this, it's just ridiculous. Dream had no evidence at the time, and he ne and I, I think he does have evidence now. But at the time that you posted this video, there was no evidence that came out about this. So why are you going on here, basically saying that it's that it's completely factual? You're supposed to be the, the number one source for news on on the social social interactions or whatever, mate. This is just th there is no confirmation of any of this happening at the time that you posted this and again I'm not saying that either side is right. I'm just here looking at this just basically saying Keemstar. What are you doing? There is no evidence of any of this happening at the time His fucking name. That's absolutely ridiculous And I see the commentary community saying well dream stands will just believe whatever he says and dream stands will just support dream the commentary community has stands too. You're all brain dead. You're not looking at the situation logically. You're acting like fucking stands and you're just taking John Swan's side when John Swan can't be the victim. It's impossible for him to be the victim. How is it impossible? Okay, I'm sorry. How is it impossible for John Swan to be the victim exactly? If he's been called out for something that is categorically untrue, as, as John Swan said, then how is he not the victim? Again, you have no evidence of any of this. Just because you don't like John Swan doesn't mean that he's that he's not the victim in this situation. And again, I gotta point this out. I'm not I'm not picking sides here. I don't know who I don't know who who did what, who did any of this, and there's really no way to tell unless unless John Swan says the truth or if if dream picks the other side but there's no real way to prove this unless john unless john swan says it himself which he hasn't so there's no confirmation of any of this anyway let me know your thoughts on this situation down below i personally don't really know which side to pick again dream stands if you're watching this video i'm not picking sides here i don't know who this is i'm just looking at this thing that the king star posted and i genuinely think it's a bit stupid anyway thank you all for watching the video really hope you all enjoyed make sure you subscribe if you're new and uh yeah make sure you subscribe to my main channel the link will be the below and uh yeah thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.